Two of America's finest are trying to put an end to a practice most people find despicable. Some call it pay to slay. The practice of Palestinians rewarding terrorists and their families for murdering Jews, Americans and others. Senior correspondent Eric Sean on Capitol Hill tonight tells us many people feel the Palestinians are actually using your tax dollars as blood money. They are on one of the most meaningful deployments of their lives. A group of West Point graduates on a mission for one of their fallen classmates and his family. They came to support the Taylor Force Act, a bill that would cut off American aid to the Palestinian Authority if it does not stop paying terrorists who kill Israelis and American citizens. Taylor was 28 years old, had served in Iraq and Afghanistan, and was stabbed to death by a Palestinian terrorist in Tel Aviv, Israel, two years ago. Palestinians have a reward program for terrorism committed in Israel. Taylor was a victim. I truly hope no other family has to go through what my family has been through, um, and that people aren't rewarded for killing others. The bill would cut off roughly $300 million a year in American aid, about the same amount the Palestinian Authority says it gives to its Martyrs Fund, money that helps convicted killers and their families. The idea that American tax dollars, or particularly the forces tax dollars, would go to pay the family of the man that killed their son is just seems completely backwards to anything that America would stand for. The White House has recently been ratcheting up the pressure on the Palestinians by moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem this spring and cutting off some aid. Some have cautioned cutting the payments could undermine the Palestinian Authority's standing, and President Mahmoud Abbas has vowed they will continue. The Americans are always telling us that we must stop paying salaries to the families of martyrs and prisoners. We categorically reject this demand. Good to see you again, sir. Good to see you. Some of the more than half dozen senators from both sides of the aisle who met with Force's family and friends have said they support the bill, but were not ready to go on the record. Others had no such reluctance. How do you explain to any American that your taxpayer dollars are going to fund terrorists who are murdering Americans? It's indefensible. We want to put an end to that, and that's why we've led the effort to, to create the Taylor, Taylor Force Act. I think it's going to become law soon. Democratic Minority Leader Senator Chuck Schumer, a co-sponsor of the bill, says no Democrat will stop it. The White House says if the legislation does President Trump's desk, he will sign the Taylor Force Act into law.